What's up guys, you're watching the Sean the Cliff channel. Today I have the brand new Fast and Furious. That's right, we got Mix 2 for 2023. First up, we got the 1969 Chevy Camaro. This casting just looks great. I love that blue on there. There is the barcode on the back in case you are looking for it and the complete set. Now on each card on the back, it's gonna tell you which movie that Fast and Furious car is from. And also the artwork has, um, you know, background from that movie. And this is from Too Fast, Too Furious. So that is Miami in the background. Um, pretty sure Paul Walker, uh, pink slip for this car. Um, they needed it for uh, a getaway car or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, if you remember, write it down in the comments. But yeah, check out that awesome artwork. And uh, this car just looks really cool. Let's get it out of the case. And this is not the first time we've seen this casting. We've seen this casting all the way back from 2007. Um, I do like that uh, light blue look with the white stripes on it. Nice, simple, clean, especially with this five spoke, deep dish, chrome wheels, staggered, small wheels in the front, big wheels in the back. Really gives it that beefy, nice drag look. With that clear window tint you can see right in there. Both passenger and driver's side windows are down. It's got nice uh, taillight details with a license plate, etc. And that is the 1969 Chevy Camaro. Let's park that up and move on to one of my favorite from this set. That is right. It is the Toyota Land Cruiser FJ60. And this is from Hobbs and Shaw. Nice, clean, simple look. I do love that nice, clean, simple look. Um, these Toyota Cruiser FJ60s are getting gobbled up. Also, we have the Toyota FJ60 from Car Culture from that Toyota set. Um, in that set, it's got that awesome Toyota Supra and uh, that Toyota pickup, just like that Toyota pickup that we saw in the Back to the Future. So let's get these both open so we can go ahead and compare the two. Um, I do like how they put the steely wheels on the new Fast and Furious one, and then you got those six spokes on the old one. And uh, I do like the clear, you know, simple, clean look on the new one versus the old one. It's got that paneling. Uh, same exact color though. On the back window there, you can see that the old Toyota one has a sticker on the back there. Um, not much too, not too much different compared to the two. It also has a wood paneling stripe on that front hood. So that's what's different between the two. Let's go ahead and get them both cracked open. First up, let's get Hobbs and Shaw out of the box and then we'll get that Toyota car culture out. Nice, simple look, like I was telling you. Very clean, got jacked up, and uh, pretty beefy wheels. There is the chassis, and let's get the Toyota out, shall we? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Really cool when you have two of them together. Looks really good. And there is that nice wood paneling. Really cool. Gives it that nice old look to it. Nice and simple. Here is the two right next to each other. Which one do you like more, the steely wheels or do you like those six spokes? Or the wood paneling? Drop it in the comments. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Seems like all the Toyota pickup trucks and SUVs are very desirable. A lot of people want them like crazy. Um, just like that Toyota pickup I mentioned earlier in the Back to the Future replica entertainment set, that one is very desirable. Um, it's a good trade bait, it goes for a good buck. The one from 2010 goes for over $100. So this is something worth grabbing, the Toyota Land Cruiser FJ60, and something to hold on to. And also, it could be good trade bait. Um, if you, especially if you're trying to get the old one, you might be able to trade the new one for the old one. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way and move on to number three in a set, which is the W Motors Lincoln Hypersport. And this is the car that we uh, they flew out of the skyscraper. So um, yeah, that's crazy. And this is actually a repeat. This is not a one-time hitter or something new. We've already seen this. And uh, a lot of these castings are seen before. So let's get it out of the case. Voila. I do like that red and the black. Looks nice. I wish this was a real life car. Unfortunately, it's not. 
But yeah, the black 10 spoke wheels fit the casting very well. I could not see this casting with six spoke or even five spoke wheels on it. It would look kind of funny. I do wish the wheels in the rear stuck out a little more. It does look like it's tucked in there a little bit. Um, it, it's very wide in the rear, so it would look cool if they had a little bit wider wheels in the back, maybe deep dish, 10 spokes. I don't know, something that would fit it a little bit better. But other than that, the casting is very well done. Uh, it's got nice headlight details. The black interior looks great. Um, just overall a good casting and the base is black and that is the Lincoln uh, Hyper Motorsport Hypersport sorry let's move on to the 1971 Plymouth GTX check out that artwork and this is from the fate of the furious so now we got the 1971 Plymouth GTX that GTX looks very well I do like those copper and chrome trim wheels on it it just looks so cool. Let's get it out of the case. There it is. Looks good. Those staggered wheels look phenomenal on it. I do like those white stripes in the front. It's got nice headlight details and it also has taillight details. Um, staggered wheels, small wheels in the front, big wheels in the rear. It's got black chassis, nice black shiny chassis with black interior, clear window tint. Um, overall, really cool casting. We are seeing the Plymouth GTX and Mainline this year in orange. So be on the lookout for that. I believe it's in the Chi case. And that is the 1971 Plymouth GTX. Let's park that up next to the Hypersport and move on to a car that I really like in this set. That's right, we have the uh, Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat wide body. And check out that artwork. I believe this is from uh, being on an island and it's from F9. That's right, F9. And the Fast and Furious 10 just came out. Um, did you guys watch it? I watched it and I believe there's supposed to be a part two. So definitely left us on a cliffhanger in that movie. Uh, don't know what's going to happen next in the next movie. I hope this is not the last Fast and Furious. Uh, you know, I don't, right, don't want to spoil anything for you guys. But anyways, this is the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat really nice and murdered out black almost dropped it right there i love love the black on black so slick and clean and sneaky looking i love the black really cool it's got stripe going down the car nice headlights and taillight details it's got black interior clear window tint it's got five spoke black wheels everything just fits this casting so well super clean I love it, love it, love it. I'm so happy they did this SRT uh, Dodge Charger. Looks sweet in that wide body. Very excited to have it. And that is the final car part of this Fast and Furious mix. Now, I wanna know, did you guys pick up the set? Are you guys leaving behind? Which one's your favorite car? Minus this FJ60, that is part of the Toyota car culture, but we brought it out to compare it. Um, I don't know, definitely a battle between these three of my favorite. And if I had to pick one, it would probably be that Dog Charger SRT Hellcat wide body. Very, very cool. I love the black on the black look for that. Um, let me know in the comments, which one's your favorite? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh.